Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Ray and today we are going to be doing the part 2B of the Ancestral Grains by Farmina video. And so this video is in response to an email I received asking if we could do a little senior showdown between the Ancestral Grains Senior Formula by Farmina and Purina Bright Minds. And so that is what we're going to do today. Let me pull up the email. All right, so there it is. Um, asked to wondering if you could consider reviewing these two senior dog foods. They currently have their 12 year old Boston Terrier on the Bright Minds, but they're considering changing, um, seeing as Fermina seems to have such good reviews for the adult diet. And so they're thinking of making a switch. This is my um, general advice for making a switch with uh, pet food. Um, if, it's bro if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if your pet's doing fine on a food, uh, there's really no reason necessarily to change. Um, if you think another food may be better for a certain reason or a medical condition, or it's not working for you, or your price point has changed, that might be a good reason to switch. But just to switch to switch, um, especially on a senior pet where any type of rocking the boat may cause some health issues, I don't usually recommend uh, switching just for kind of just for the fun of it. Um, and so they said, Farmina seems to have such good reviews for the adult diet. Um, and it's important to realize that reviews are just personal, you know, anecdotal opinions. A lot of companies these days pay people to leave reviews or do, um, you know, different marketing tactics for reviews. So just be careful with that. And um, if you look here, we've got the Purina Pro Plan Bright Minds 7 Plus Chicken and Rice Dog Food Formula with Probiotics for Senior Dogs. It's a 30 pound bag and it's costing about $80.68. Um, as far as reviews go, it's getting four and a half stars. Where if you come over here, you see the Farmina NND Ancestral Grains Chicken and Pomegranate Recipe Senior Maxi is only actually getting four, do uh, four stars and um, it's going to cost you $89.99, but it's only a 26 and a half pound bag. So um, according to this, if we're just going based on this, the Purina is getting um, more stars and is actually cheaper versus the Farmina, which is only getting um, four star ratings uh, and is a little bit more well, quite a bit more expensive. Um, but that's not what we're talking about on this channel. We don't talk about that stuff. That stuff's mostly marketing. Um, all that is superfluous to what really matters to us, which is the nutrition. And so that's what we're going to do today. Um, we've already done a breakdown of the ancestral grain, so that's going to be really easy. We'll just pull up our chart from that video. And then the Purina brand is very good about listing information that we need on their website. So this was the Purina... Bright Minds Senior. We've had a hard time lately finding senior dog foods that meet the parameters just perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And so we'll see how this stacks up here. We're going to do a side by side comparison. So let's find the Bright Minds. This is it here? And they've got that senior dog on the on the front. So let's get down to business here. Um, Things we're going to be looking for are the things that are on the pet food scoring system. Now, both of these foods we're going to be evaluating um, on an as-fed basis because that's the information that was provided to me from farming. I had a hard time getting um, dry matter basis, especially with the magnitude of foods that we were reviewing. And so uh, to keep things comparable, we're also going to be doing the Purina also on an as-fed basis. Another important thing to point out, um, George, George highlighted it on one of his comments. Uh, that these numbers are minimums and maximums. So if we go through the pet food scoring system, you're like, yeah, I think this is a winner. I'd like to consider this food going forward. I would definitely call them and try to get the actual numbers because I was not able, um, customer service was giving me a little bit of a hard time. I mean, I understand it's a lot of food that I was asking questions about getting that information. So I definitely highly suggest and I appreciate George um, reminding all of us that we need to be paying attention if we're using the guaranteed analysis that these are minimums and maximums and we may need to go a step further if it meets the cut to get the actual dry matter numbers that are specific. So the typical analysis, not the guaranteed analysis. So this here is the Pro Plan Bright Minds formula. Um, it is not grain and not grain, it is not grain free and is not raw, so we're gonna get two points there on the pet food scoring system. 
Um, the AFCO statement says that uh, animal feeding tests using AFCO substantiate that the Bright Minds provides complete and balanced nutrition for adult maintenance. So this one is actually going to get two points for the AFCO statement as well because it was feeding child. So they fed this food to, I assume, seniors. Um, there is a whole regulatory process on what makes an AFCO feeding trial, what standardizes it. They met those recommendations um, and they did that and they get that stamp of approval and can put that their food was AFCO feeding child. So they get an additional two points there. So they're up to four points already. The next thing we need to check before we get into the, um, the next thing we need to check before we get into the guaranteed analysis is going to be the feeding guide. Um, we've got a 20 pound dog is what I usually like to use. This is 20, 20 here. They're saying one and a quarter cups. One and a quarter cups, and it is 423 kcals per cup. Let's do the math really quick. Five hundred and twenty-eight. So yes, that is going to be correct on this. Now, before we go any further and we get into the guaranteed analysis, let me go ahead and pull up my chart from the ancestral grains video. If you guys are new to the channel and just tuning in for this video, we've been going through all the Farmina foods. The um, so far we've done the quinoa line and we've done the ancestral grain line for the dog. And we're compiling these charts here so that we can do a side-by-side -side comparison because they have so many options. And you guys really seem to like this series. So I'm going, to go to, I'm going to go ahead and finish it through and do all the foods. But the one that we're specifically looking for right now is this senior chicken. So I'm just going to screen clip that so that we can do side-by-side. -side. All right. Close and all that and get ourselves situated. All right, so here it is. Here is the analysis. So ancestral grains, senior diet versus the Pro Plan Bright Mind 7 Plus. Um, we know when we went through the ancestral grain line, this only scored a 6 out of 10. The reason being, and um, we were out of the recommended range for seniors for the calcium, the phosphorus, the fat. So we were off on all of those and they don't feeding trial any of their food. So because of those reasons, this dropped this particular food down to a six. Let's see. So far we said we are up to going into the guaranteed analysis, two for the AFCO statement, two for the um, ingredients not being grain free or raw, and one for the feeding guide. So this is already a five. So it is it, it would it would have to do really bad. It would have to be a really big bomb for me for it not to most likely surpass the ancestral grains um, just on the nutrient content alone. So let's go through that. Um, I guess we should probably pick up as well our senior guidelines to see what we are, what we're comparing things to. So as you know, we use the pet food scoring system that I created because it keeps everything um, very logical. We are not letting extemporaneous things um, get in the way of our logical decision making. And so we're not paying attention to reviews. We're not paying attention to packaging. We're not paying attention to gossip. We're not paying attention to any of that stuff. We aren't even really paying attention to price. Once we find a food that is nutritionally adequate to what we want, then we start factoring in price. And it may be, okay, this one's a seven and it's $10 a bag. And this one's an eight, but it's $52 a bag. So I'm going to sacrifice that little bit and feed the seven because I can't afford, um, you know, the, the eight, that's one, you know, that's one way to think of it, but we have to do this very logical analysis to even get to that point. So we're going to pull up the parameters for senior because we were specifically asked to review this against the senior standards. There are a lot of diets out there that are marketed as a senior that do not, um, fall into the senior standards, but are really nice for a regular adult. And so that's important to realize that just because a food has on the name the word senior, or maybe even the food has on the name active or the food has on the name weight loss, does not mean that that's what the food is nutritionally made for. That's just the name of the food. And so a lot of people run into issues with that. And if you um, watch my foundationals playlist, I really hope that you do, you will understand that you can name a food whatever you want. But what we are going through in the pet food scoring system has nothing to do with name. It has to do with the nutritional numbers that are backing 
backing our decision up. And so that's important. So even though these both say senior, they may both or they may neither of them be appropriate for a senior. So we're going to pull up the senior standards and see how close we get. Six is below um, the ancestral grain score below what I would normally consider good for um, the general population. I like things to score a seven, eight, nine, or 10. So we can think of it like on a grading scale. Um, 7D is passing, 60 is not. And so that's why I did it on a scale out of 10. So you can kind of get that mindset when we're doing these reviews. So here's the senior dog standards here. We're going to pop those in. Okay, so ideally for the senior, just to recap, we want protein between 15 and 23. So we want a lower protein senior dogs um, in order to preserve the kidneys and provide optimal function for them. It's a balance between providing too much, too little, just right amount of protein. So, you know, this is the Goldilocks and the three bears. We don't do, want too much. We don't want too little. We want it just right. And it's hard to do that. So companies that can achieve that, it's, you know, it's amazing. And so 15 to 23 is a, the sweet spot. Calcium, we want between 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. Phosphorus, between 0 0.5 and 1. That's going to be the difficult thing to do right there. It's very hard to get these minerals so restrictive and just perfect. Um, sodium, we're not listing for the pet food scoring system. Vitamin E, um, I will just kind of do a quick mention on that. It's not part of the pet food scoring system, but we did talk about it quite a bit when we were doing the ancestral grain. So we will um, you know, make a mention of that here just for comparison purposes. Fat between 7 and 15, fiber greater than 2. And then again, chloride is not part of the pet food scoring system, so we're not really going to be focusing on that. So let's just go ahead and score. Rem remembering we're up to 5 on the Bright Minds, let's just do the final score. So the protein, they are going to be over, so you're going to lose a point there. They're at 29. In comparison to the ancestral grains, which was 27, both lost a point there because it was both in excess of what we consider to be ideal. Uh, fat at 14, ancestral grains was at 15. Again, still going to be out of range. Um, oh, excuse me. We are in range. It's out of range for the ancestral grains, but we are going to get the point here for the bright minds. So one up here. So that's going to bring now the bright lines up to a six. So we're head to head, six out of six, if they can get the rest of the parameters. Uh, five are at three, so all has to be is greater than two, so they're going to get the point there. It's going to bring them up to a seven, so now we've suppressed the ancestral grains as far as the scoring system. Moisture is at 12%. Um, that is important to notice because, like I said, we're not doing a dry matter basis here because um, it was not available to me when I did that mega review on the ancient grains, but that 9% moisture on the ancient grains did not affect. 12 might affect, so let's go ahead and do that before we give them actually a point for the fat, just to be fair. 14, to convert that to a dry matter basis, um, 14 corrects down to 15.9. So actually they're not going to get, they're not going to they're not going to get the point there either because that is going to bump them over. Um, so uh, we are going to be stuck at a seven out of 10 right now. If we give the point for the fiber, then we get down to the, ca the calcium at one, which is going to be over the phosphorus at 0 0.8, which is going to be over. So that's an interesting, an interesting um, turn of events here. Um, I thought maybe going into the guaranteed analysis as a five, we were going to soar. We were going to soar past, but um, we are not soaring past. In fact, we are just barely, we're just barely meeting up. So they're only going to get points on the fiber. They're over on everything else, especially when we convert this to a dry matter basis, this is going to soar over the standards. I didn't do a conversion of the dry matter basis over here because it was already over, but here it was close enough that we had to do it. So these actually are exactly scoring exactly the same. So the bright minds kind of ekes out a little bit because they did that feeding trial. So the major difference here um, and the reason why the bright minds is scoring a little bit better, not great for a senior. Um, so we'd like to see something that's a little bit higher. And we've had a hard time finding seven, eight, nines, and tens in senior. So we're really going to have to, I'm really going to need the nutrition nation to start coming up with some requests that um, you guys have found that are good options because we're, we're really lacking in the senior dog um, category here. But um, it, it's just barely eking by at a six out of 10 for a senior. The difference is, um, I will say that the minerals are a little bit better on the Bright Mind. So their um, calcium at one and phosphorus at 0 0.8 maybe is a little bit better than the 1.1, 0 0.8. But then we got to factor in that um, dry matter conversion. So these, these two diets actually are almost you know, spot on to each other. They're pretty identical. Let's go to the vitamin E because I did want to 
talk a little bit about this. Um, and I am actually going to bring up the Farmina ancestral grains to kind of show you this and how you have to be careful when you're using these charts and you're picking out parameters um, and you're you're kind of getting into some of the more um, not obscure, but some of the more micronutrients and the vitamins, why you have to be careful, and why I don't really um, include them on the chart. And that has to do with their interactions with each other and how they inhibit each other. So um, the protein, the fat, the fiber, those type of things, there's not a lot of inhibitory effects. But when you start getting into, um, you know, minerals and things like that, minerals and vitamins specifically, certain minerals and certain vitamins um, and micronutrients, they play upon each other. And so it's not as simple as if you have this much, you're fine. It ends up being, well, if you have this much of this and this much of that, how do they cancel each other out? Is there a synergy effect? Is there a cancellation effect? And so that's why as far as this channel goes, the purposes of this channel, which is a very baseline, basic um, you know, knowledge for the general population. I'm not requiring you guys to have an undergraduate degree. I'm not you know, requiring you to have prerequisites in biology and chemistry and things like that, which is what you might have to go to that next level. That's why I don't do that. It's not because they're not important. It's not, um, it's not what the purpose of this channel is. And so I'm going to bring up the Farmina. I'm going to bring up an additional window here, pull it over. All right, so let's just jump really quick for a breakdown of the vitamins just to illustrate. If you look over here on the pro plan, you will see the vitamin E is 500 international units. And over here on the vitamin E on the Farmina, it's 600. So you may say to yourself, these are really very close. And so I need to start going into these secondary factors to try to pick which one is better. And I totally agree. That's exactly how you should be doing it. You should be scoring both. You should be um, evaluating them. And then if they are very similar, then that's when we start going on to the secondary factors, prices, vitamins, glucosamines, that kind of thing. Um, so you may be saying, okay, well, this is 600 milligrams of vitamin E. The pro plan is 500. And so I'm going to go with the Farmina because the Farmina was higher and everything else was very similar. So this one had the vitamin E higher. I'm going to go with that one. Be careful with that mindset. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm just saying these are some other things to consider. Um, when you have vitamin E, vitamin e, e actually has an inhibitory effect on vitamin A. So the more vitamin E you put, there comes a point where that vitamin E actually starts um, knocking out vitamin A. And so right here we have vitamin A right above vitamin E is 14,000 international units in the pro plan where you come over here and you have vitamin A at 15,000 international units. And so what is happening most likely um, or could be happening, I don't know, I'm not a biochemist. Um, so I, you know, I can't speak to this and that this is where um, if you're really into this, I would highly suggest that you hire a board of nutritionists to help you work through these things because they do know this in a better and better place than I do. I know it on a very superficial level. I'm a general practitioner. I try to stay in my lane. Um, I do some continuing education and I do educate myself a little bit further, but there is a depth to what I what I can know. And I don't know to what extent the vitamin E is um, inhibitory on vitamin A. But this being 600 and 1500, you may say it has more vitamin A, it has more vitamin E, that's great, it's more. Not necessarily because there may be an inhibitory effect where when you add that 100 of the vitamin E, it actually cancels out the vitamin A. And so now they may be at the exact same level as the Bright Minds. And so that might have been a little bit too much. And maybe it was a little bit in the twilight zone for, for all of you guys. But I do encourage you when you're at the very beginning and you're just learning these things that you stick to some of the basics and don't get um, yourself in quicksand and don't drown through some of the little, little, little micro things. Because in the end, they may honestly really not matter for reasons just like that. So these vitamins may actually be non-consequential. These foods are very, 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 very similar, um, it, you know, in the bare bones and the basics. And so that was um, our senior so showdown by request for the canine for Purina Bright Minds versus the uh, Fermina NND Ancestral Grains Senior, which is the chicken and pomegranate. So there is no clear winner here. I think they're both um, okay options. I, I would love to see an option in the senior formula, um, you know, that is getting us closer to that 7, 8, 9, or 10. Um, but it wasn't that far off. You know, it's still a lower 
um, mineral food. It's still a lower protein food. So I think we're getting closer and closer and closer to where we want to be. But again, um, I entertain these on request. So if any of you guys have out there a super stellar senior canine formula, share it with your friends and we will do a little senior showdown on that one as well. So thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe before you go so that you'll be notified um, for future videos and you can stay up to speed on what we're doing here in the Nutrition Nation. Thanks guys. Bye.